Hey, Shalom, give my praises, honor, glory, and worship unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bahashem, Kodash, double honors unto the elders and the apostles that do rule well, overseeing the tabernacle of David, which are the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and greetings and salutations unto you, Akim, upholding the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. This is an in transit, and it and it and it should not be for man, but for God. Watch, and the Scripture speaks about I will stand upon my watch and see what He has to say to me. I briefly paraphrase. I'm not able to actually grab the precept, but um. When you watch, it's going into you watching for the prophecies. But not only watching for the prophecies, watching yourself. If you're in the office of a bishop, which I've used that term bishop loosely now, the term bishop essentially means overseer, but you have official offices of, of bishops, right? which those are the bishops over the church, but then you also have officers and you have um, captains. They, they, they also, I'm, like I said, I'm using that term loosely, they, they oversee the flock. They oversee who they're assigned to oversee from their position and from their lot. So that's also an aspect of being on your watch. And likewise, we have to watch our own selves. We have to watch. That's, does the scripture not say, examine yourself whether or not ye be in the faith? It says, prove your own selves. And that comes through, that comes through humility. That comes through experience. And that comes through being able to take reproof and growing. Using reproof that comes from whatever it might, it might be, maybe leadership. It's like it. one second. That comes from hearing the reproof and growing thereby. All right. Now I wanted to touch up on those different aspects of, of watching, but I want to rewind and go back to um, watching for the prophecies. All right. Watching for the prophecies. As a, as a the lot of a prophet, a prophet has different lots, but the most important lot for a prophet is to prophesy. And you can't adequately prophesy unless you're seeing, if you're, you're paying attention to what's going on around you. All right. And the thing is, when you pay, when you're paying attention to what's going on around you, you can measure the prophecies more efficiently. The scripture says, "Measure the time diligently in itself." You measure the times by watching for the prophecies, right? And it's important because when you watch for the prophecies, it gives you hope. When you see things coming to pass, and it also keeps you sober-minded. And it keeps you on your guard, keeping you on haste to prepare for the coming of Yahweh Shah. Because ultimately, pardon me, ultimately the return of Yahweh Shah is the primary prophecy that we're watching and waiting for. That he may redeem Israel and bring forth salvation to our nation starting with the elect of our nation. <clears throat> All right, so we want to maintain the watch. Now, I think that's what I'm going to entitle this lesson, actually. Maintain the watch. Watch on your on your own self. Watch on the uh, the flock of Yahweh Bashim uh, according to your lot and to your position that the Lord has given you. All right? You know, you look out for your brother's. Um, and also watch 
Mm. Watch yourself. Because who has to be on watch when nobody's around and the temptation comes? And nobody sees you. Of course, the angel's 10,000 times brighter than the sun, buddy. But no man is around. And and it's up to you to make the proper decision. That's you being on your watch. That's you working out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And having the fear of Yahweh by Shema and Shai at the forefront will keep you on the right path. Having a healthy fear of your by Shem Shai will keep you on the right path. So with that I'm gonna give all praises, honor, glory, and worship unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakodash, double honors unto the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations unto you, Akim. Shalom and keep the faith.